Hey, what's up? I'm Russ and this is Dapper Dividends. I have some very bullish stock news for all y'all. And around here, if you're new, we are working to make work optional and we're doing that through stock and crypto passive income. AT&T and Microsoft are partnering to bring the world one step closer to being fully in the cloud. But before we get to that, I want to say thank you again to everybody that's watched this channel because July 2021 will be our first full month of being a monetized YouTube channel and being in the YouTube Partner Program. And if you didn't know, to be able to get that, you have to have a thousand subscribers and you have to have 4,000 hours of watch time within a 12 month period. So we hit those numbers, we're monetized now, turning this passion, uh, this hobby into a little bit of another passive income stream. And again, thank you everybody. We will be splitting half of our first full month of July 2021 check with somebody out there. Click the link in the description below to sign up for that and maybe it'll be you and good luck. The big news is that AT&T is going to run their core 5G network on Microsoft's cloud. The cloud space is led by Amazon currently and companies like Dish Network are using Amazon to run their core 5G network. But this is really big money moves that Microsoft is making and they have landed an anchor tenant in AT&T. So this will pretty much start immediately in a few weeks and is a really big deal because of the scale of AT&T's millions of customers. Now I have been saying that AT&T is trying to turn the company around and they're so big that they're like a big ship. I was on the USS John C. Stennis, which was an aircraft carrier. And to give you a little bit of the size and scope of that ship, we had about 6,000 crew members with the air wing on board. And with that air wing on board, there was about 82 jets, 82 planes, and three helos that were on the ship. So that's how massive that was. And when that ship needed to turn around, it took a long time. It didn't just turn on a dime and AT&T is much like that. So the shift for AT&T has begun to a standalone 5G network. And using Azure, they will reduce engineering and development costs and use the cloud, uh, artificial intelligence and edge computing to launch new services and products quicker. So if you aren't aware of all the things that 5G does, it gives us faster download speeds, low latency, more capacity and connectivity for billions of devices and mobile users, especially in the virtual reality, the internet of things, the internet of things being when that time comes that our refrigerator, dishwasher, thermostat, lights, faucet, our water heaters, every device, every appliance in our house is going to be connected to the internet. And 5G is also fantastic for the automotive industry. Think about the self-driving cars that will one day come along the healthcare industry and the manufacturing industry. Now, Microsoft will acquire AT&T's cloud tech and team, as well as purchasing the software and intellectual property to help build out Azure for operators. So the deal is not exclusive and it will allow Microsoft to sell more services to carriers around the world. They're going to go after as many carriers as they can to be using their service. And Microsoft is essentially taking over AT&T's cloud network and will use its tech from earlier acquisitions of affirmed networks and Metaswitch, which both specialize in software for mobile carriers. And this will allow Microsoft to bring real world 5G production workloads to Azure for operators. This is really good for AT&T, but this is just incredible for Microsoft and the beast will get bigger and try to move their dominance into the mobile, into the 5G, into the cloud space and just take over that. Now I do own a few shares of Microsoft in the self-directed IRA and I'm kicking myself for not buying them more. And a few weeks ago they were in the 130s and 140s and I thought about buying more, but this is something I have to get over because the dividend yield was so low, it was under 1%, very small starting yield, but they are somehow one of the most massive companies and they're still 
a growth company. They're not done growing yet. And yeah, check it out. They have a 0.83% dividend yield paying out $2.24% annually, a microscopically low payout ratio of 28%, a five-year growth rate of 9.52%, growing that dividend for 17 years. And when you look at a 10-year dividend growth chart, it really doesn't get much better than this. Just super stable, super solid. Microsoft is an amazing company and they are just going to be that much bigger and that much stronger with this partnership with AT&T. As I've said, with AT&T, apparently we're divided into two groups. You're either pessimistic or you're optimistic and you're going to invest accordingly. I still fall on the optimistic side and this is only helping make the case for me to want to buy more AT&T because I love that they are focusing on what they have been doing so well for so many years. And this is one of the problems when companies get so big and massive, they just buy up. They think they can run uh, internet and they think they can run social media. They think they can run movies and Warner and streaming and they can do it all and they just really can't. So it's really nice to see them getting back to focusing on what they are known for, what they do well, what their core is, and also with Verizon as well, that they just sold off uh, Yahoo Finance. They're divesting themselves of all those things that is not telecommunications. And I love what these companies are doing, getting back to basics. And it's almost like they're just capitulating and saying, you know what, we tried, we made a mistake. Uh, but in the case of AT&T, they're not losing any money on spinning off Warner Media. And if you want to see more of what I think about that, check out this video right here with my thoughts and predictions on AT&T. And I will talk to you there.